Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure port based LAN. But before we configure, let's go and understand the lab topology. In my lab topology, we have a Dretec 2962 router and we have a layer 2 switch. So in Dretec 2962 router, port number 3, I am going to use to connect my PC. And by default, the port number 3 is configured with LAN zone. And the IP address for this 192.168.1.1, which is slash 24 mask. And port number 4, I am going to keep it into another VLAN. Port number 5, I am going to keep it into another VLAN. And port number 6, I am going to keep it into another VLAN. So the concern is that port number 4, I am going to shift into VLAN number 10. Port number 5, I am going to shift into VLAN number 20. Port number 6, I am going to shift into VLAN number 30. So I am going to show it to you each and every port how we are going to shift into different VLANs. So this is what I am going to show it to you here. So that's why we can call it, it's a port based LAN. So the first task is that access the router with the default IP, username and password. As we know that the default IP address for Dretec router which is 192.168.1.1 and the default username admin and default password admin. So the first task I'm going to access with my default IP and default username and password and make sure here my laptop at the moment is connected on port number three. So right now I can able to access my Dretec router with the default IP and make sure that by default the DHCP is enabled on this network. Let's go and do that. So before I'm going to access my Dretec router, I'm going to do the ping, whether I can able to have a reachability or not. So for that, just open the command prompt and type the IP address as 192.168.1.1. So now I have a successful reachability to my router. So open the browser and type 192.168.1.1, then you can able to see this page. Once you are able to see this page and enter the username as admin, password as admin. Then after that, click login. Now the warning, your router is still set to default password. You should change it via the system maintenance menu. So for this, go to the system maintenance. Then after that, click on the administrator password. So the old password is admin. Then new password. and confirm the password. Then after that, click OK. Then for verification, log out from the router and log in with the new password, admin. And for your confirmation, I'm trying with the old password, which is admin. Whenever you click login, you will get a message like, it's not able to. The username password you entered is incorrect username or password, something is incorrect. So now I'm going to enter the username and the correct password. Then after that, click login. This is what how you are going to change. The next step is that change the default admin password that we have done it already and change the date and time. So to change the date and time, make sure that you need to connect to the internet first. So right now I didn't connect to the internet, but anyway, I'm going to set the default date and time for my reason. So for that, you just go to the system maintenance. Then after that, you can find here, there is a time and date. Then after that, if you see here, by default, my time and date is going to synchronize with my NTP server, which is pool.ntp.org. Now it's prompting you to provide the time zone. So my time zone is belongs to Dubai which is plus four. Now if you see here, there is a Abu Dhabi and Muscat. Select on that, then click OK. Now still, I'm not able to see the right time and right date because I have not connected to the internet. So once I connected that, I'm going to show it to you again. Then after that, these are the tasks which I want to show it to you in this lab. In my next lab, I'm going to show it to you the remaining tasks. Thank you for watching this video. For sales, Please send us an email 
sales at datawise.com and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel which is DVCom. Thank you for watching.